Introducing the EVG GeForce GTX 980 Hybrid. This card takes the GeForce GTX 980 graphics card and combines it with a high performance all-in-one water cooler that drastically reduces the GPU temperature and noise levels. Now before we take a look at the card, let's open up the box and see what we have on the inside. So here's the box. You can see it's a pretty large box that's needed because it does include a radiator uh, along with the graphics card. So let's go ahead and pull off the top here. You can see right on top here we have a manual. We also have right here we have a couple of stickers that ship with the uh, product as well. We have a quick install guide and a driver DVD. And we also have a full size fold out poster. Next we have a power cable here that is needed if your power supply doesn't have the necessary power cables. We also have a DVI to VGA adapter. We have an EVGA case badge. Here we have another power adapter. Here we have a couple of cable ties to help keep the uh, wires and tubing very nice and tidy. And we also have a couple of Velcro straps as well. And lastly, of course, we have the screws that you will use to mount the radiator to your chassis. So now let's take a look at the card itself. So if we just remove the foam holder outside of the packaging, you can see we have the entire solution all assembled. We have the graphics card and we also have the water cooling solution attached to it as well. So this radiator and the fan will attach to the inside of your chassis to help reduce the GPU operating temperatures. You can also see we have a back plate pre-installed on the card. So now let's take a closer look at the graphics card and water cooler. So if we remove the shroud, you can see the entire water cooling solution. We have a GPU water block that is directly attached to the GPU. And we also have the fan assembly still there as well, which helps cool the VRMs and the memory. The water cooling pump is powered by the fan header that is already on the board as well as the fan that is attached to the radiator. We also give you two options for routing the wire. You can come out the standard way, which is the top, but if you want, you can also route the fan wire out the bottom of the graphics card. You can see there is a cutout here that allows you to run the fan wire out the bottom. So it can, in some cases, this can give you some better wire management. Um, so we can uh, show you exactly what that looks like. If you have, uh, have it on there, you see the wire just comes out directly on the bottom. You can go behind the card. Uh, but by default, it comes out the top. Now the radiator that is attached to the card is a 120 millimeter radiator and it does include the fan on there as well that is configured in a push configuration, meaning it pushes airflow through the radiator. Now this can give you some really great temperatures. So let's go ahead and set up a test bench here to show you what you can expect. So on my test setup, I took the GTX 980 Hybrid and overclocked the GPU by setting a 60 megahertz offset on the GPU and a 300 megahertz offset on the memory. And with these settings, you can see my GPU temperature is right around 40 degrees Celsius. This is about a 30 Celsius degree drop from the original cooler. Now for those of you who already own a GTX 980, EVGA is also making available an upgrade kit that is compatible with all reference style GTX 980 graphics cards. This upgrade kit even includes the custom shroud so there is no need to drill any holes or anything like that. The shroud is included with the upgrade kit. So there you have it, the EVGA GeForce GTX 980 Hybrid. Now we really only scratched the surface on the feature set of this graphics card. So for more information, please check out the EVGA website at www.evga.com forward slash 980 hybrid. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.